Okay, here we are testing out the new interface. Ba 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 ba. Okay. I don't know how it's going to sound, so let me just see with my computer, my phone here. What happened, what happened to the microphone? Look. What do you mean, what happened to what microphone? No levels are being registered. Because I'm not talking. I'm not talking. I mean, for one thing, it's 200 miles away from me. See, it's registering just fine. So let me do this. Hold on. My episodes. Okay. There it goes. My profile. Uh, my episodes. There. Okay, now I'm going to check the left, left, right, right bullshit again for the 753rd time. Okay, stereo. I'm so tired of this. There's sound check. Here we go, everybody. Maybe you'll hear left speaker, right speaker. Starting now, recording live. idiotic stupid one here's the better one where's the better one oh where's the one I had hold on I gotta find it I don't know where it's at uh, let's try this one are you kidding that's all you're gonna do Visual shut the shut oh my god people are so goddamn stupid Hold on, I'm trying to get there. Hold on, I'm working on it. I'm so tired of this shit. Okay, where did it go? That looks like Gun Gun, too big. Uh, let's see. It is... <gasps> Here we go, everybody. Once again, with this beautiful voice. Right channel. Channel. Right channel. Right channel. Right channel. Left channel. Left channel. Left channel. Left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel. All right, I officially give up. Spreaker will not play my right channel. Everything else does. The speakers do. I do. The board does. The speakers do. My headphones do. Everything does. Everything in the whole world except for Spreaker. So I don't know what to tell myself. It just has a stupid... It just goes right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel. And there's nothing we're doing on the board. Everything is perfect. Everything is great. Levels are perfect over here, both left, both right. Everything sounds great in the headphones, sounds great on the speakers. Oh, that's, that's. Everything is great, but. I got one more thing I'll do. Oh, I'm so tired of this. You know how I hate shit like this because there's wires all over the place. So I'll just have to put something else on the board to play until... The only reason why I put Snoozy on is because it's the longest audio I had. I hate that audio. But it's the longest audio I had to play so I could go deal with that dog. Which I just uploaded... I can't reach the speaker, the microphone. I just uploaded a, sp a video on YouTube of that dog for y'all to help me decide. If that dog is being abused, I will not return it to his, his owner. I don't care what he says. He can beg me. He'll have to fight me for it. Because I will not return a dog to somebody that I, And that dog acts like he's abused. I sent the video to David to see what David thought about it. So, I don't even know if he's here now or anybody. I don't think anybody's here now. That's fine. This is just an audio test. But now, can y'all see what I'm dealing with with the board? It's like 
if I play off of my soundboard, it sounds great in everybody's ears, but when it comes out on Spreaker, it does. Maybe Spreaker's not in stereo. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but that was the boring. That was the reason I was playing that boring audio from Snoozy. And he is a snooze. But so I'm going to put that on again. I hope everybody knows why I'm doing this. I have no want to hear Snoozy's voice. If I wanted to, I could hear it night and day. I think he turned out to be the biggest disappointment I've ever known on the internet. So I'm going to put something else on by the snooze because it's the longest audio I have uploaded on the Il Bordo here while Victor does what he's going to do to this new interface. All right, here we go. going on or something along those lines she, he wants to go out and play football with his father and his dad wants to sit there and watch uh -oh. <laughs> oh boy i'm joking you're famous you got your own profile wait let me hold hot you can always see it i love the uh, action <laughs> it's not there we go right here <laughs> Right here. Okay. Right here. Well, we're talking with uh, with the creator of <laughs> Mita Spin. Have Debbie Grillo. I, 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 yes. Hello. I'm on, I'm on I'm on Meat Spin. I have thirty different pictures on Meat Spin. Oh boy. Really? <laughs> oh. Famous. You got your own profile. I do. Yeah. I do. I'm the girl. You know the famous shitting up in the air picture. That's me. Yes. Oh, that's I me. Know. That's. I swear. That's me. You are right. Uh, so I understand, and Mr. Debbie, you. Oh, I'm sorry, but I think that Guy Shay, uh, you, there's a lot of people with this whole thing. Okay. Anyway, there's a lot of people on mm. here that demand strict allegiance to them. They don't want you going like to you, anybody else's show and like, being anybody else's friend. Like you. I, like you. Okay, first of all, mm -hmm. have I ever gotten upset with anybody yes. except for that? It, just let me finish. She doesn't count. Well, I'll hang up. Bye. No, don't hang up. Oh, call back. Come back here, you. Don't hang up. She'd get mad. I'll put Goofy Bone on with you. <laughs> don't go. Don't go. Come on. Now she's all mad. Now she's mad at me. Why? Because it's true. She's going off like Guy Shea is, uh, you know, being some bully and adhering strict uh, allegiance to him. And she did the same thing to everybody, including me. This is why Bjorn stopped listening to her show and Pete Dembski. Now she won't call back. All right, listen. Oh, come back here. Oh, wait a minute. Send, she sent a video message. Hold on. Wait a minute. I can't detect any webcam. Wait a minute. Close. I don't know. What is this video? If you plug a webcam into your computer, you can make free video calls to anyone else on Skype. I don't want to have the free video. I just want to have the message. Give me the message. No, okay. All right, I answered. Okay, hold on. All right, hold on. I'll just call her back. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Please don't be Please. mad at me. I was, you know, I'm just I'm mad. I just, you won't let me talk. I think you're being ridiculous about me. Do you know how many friends I have on Spreaker that go to everybody's shows that I could give a fuck? I, I same thing with me. I mean, like when, when you all of a sudden are, you know, giving go, Joe Seeker lap dances, I don't get upset about that. What does I, lap dances mean? Because I talk to him on my podcast? You know, you snuggle up and you're, you know, you rub him and all, you know, you know what a lap dance <laughs> is. I mean, why would you say I'm giving him a lap dance when I'm simply talking to him like I'm talking to you right now? No, I but like it's you. a little bit more than that. I mean, you're saying how wonderful he is, and he's like, I the, you know. He's amazing. I think See, there you the go. Biggest, I think he's hysterical. Yeah. What's wrong with liking Joe Seeker a whole lot? Can I like somebody? There's, well, see, there you go. Uh, I guess I'm. a question. But I'm not. Uh, listen, here's the thing. Here's the difference, okay? While it does uh, peeve me, I will say that it peeves me. Um, I, I'm not adhering strict allegiance from anybody or anything like this. 
But you with the, this Angela Utley and uh, with this okay, uh, des stop. Desert right Rose. I'm going to stop you. Yes. Angela Utley is an entity of her own. She has called CPS on my family three mm -hmm. times. Yeah. She has done more damage, bullshit in my life. My own daughter could have lost her own child because of that monster. Mm -hmm. She's insane. She doesn't count. Yeah. Leave her out of the picture. She's she's a nutcase. Mm -hmm. Just anybody else. Des Desert Rose. Um, what do you know about the relationship between me and Desert Rose? I don't know. All I know is this whole thing about, you don't know what she did to me and all this kind of stuff. You well, obviously <laughs> aren't keeping up in your program, are you? <laughs> That's too much to keep up with. It's well, like, then don't worry about it. It's my life and I'll deal with but it. Then, it's you no know, big deal. But you're not, my point is, the point being, to cut the, 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 the Occam's razor to all of this is that uh, you are also... Uh, as much guilty of this whole thing about demanding strict allegiance as Guy Shea is demanding strict Bullshit. allegiance. Bullshit. I'll, I'll call you a liar and I will stand by that until mm. the day I die. You're full of shit, news guy. You're just trolling me and I'm not in the mood. Bye. Oh, but, oh, all right. Well, here she goes. She's gone. All right. She's going to go. She's gone. The Hall and Oats song. Anyway, hold on. Wait a second. Come back here. I got to call her again. Because I want to bring... She, yeah, wait, somebody wants to talk to you. Oh, by the way, I have a One Angry Jew update also. All right, You're not all even right. listening to me. Wait, 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 wait. I have a One Angry Jew update. He says still. He says to me, still blocked pussy. I don't know. I guess he's I'm, I'm blocked on uh, Twitter or something like this. He says, and you can tell that C, referring to you, to stop lying, I didn't call her. Jewish producer put her on the same line so you can go F yourself to a line piece of. Did I say that he called me, or did I say he was on my show? Well, you did say that he was on your show. Yeah. He was. Yeah. And he spoke, uh, even to me. Okay, see? see okay. Yeah. I get, maybe that's a technicality. I'll have to listen to see, you know, the exact details of this conversation that was had, because if the Jew was put on by a third party to your show... He could have hung up. He could have hung up, but... If he did not engage in a dialogue with you, he did. Okay, and what did, I, I'll have to listen to the archive because you—I gave you like three minutes there to find yeah, it. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't was, prepared. It's okay. It's all right. I'm not going to be mad. I'll listen to the archive. You said, and now, okay, he's writing back. He said, "No, she said that I called into her show. Go repeat free play what she said. Effing line." Jew, you need to get a hobby. Isn't Jonathan out of school by now? It's six of three on the East Coast. What are you doing on Spreaker? Get off Spreaker. Get off Skype and spend some goddamn time with that kid. You better watch it. He'll he'll go over and doss your show again. I guess something like that. Oh yeah, and and stop messing with my computer. I mean, okay, would you please stop it? I've got screenshots of everything. Every time I'm on my show, my computer just goes whoosh, it just shuts down. Now I, I have I have to do state for the record that the title of your latest show is MMM, Mr. Midnight Movie, Jewish producer, One Angry Jew, Call Debbie. Okay. Who called into my show? Were they all together? I'm, I haven't listened to it, but I would assume that JP called in with the two of them on the line. What is his problem? I think the Jew has really, I, I swear to God, I'm going to change topics. I think the Jew has flipped his fucking lid. But I think that in a certain way, the way that you have phrased this title. You brought it up. I don't give a fuck, uh, news guy, okay? Uh, the Jew is a nutcase, uh -huh. all right? Okay. You don't know what's going on between me and Desert Rose. You don't know the story between me and Todd Morris. You don't know uh, what you're talking about. So until you know what you're talking about and you want to hear the truth, don't talk about it, and don't call me back. Wait, wait, wait. Is Todd more... Oh, I... <clears throat> they keep doing this. This is very frustrating. I have to call back at least once. I have to try. Otherwise, I'll put on Goofy Bone. I but, said don't call well, me back. But could I please ask you, is Todd Morris really black? Half black. Okay. And, and is he's it... 57 years old. Wow. He tells everybody he's 30. <laughs> well, he does sound like he's younger than 57. I'll tell you that much. I've known him a long time. Hmm. And I've known all about him for a long time. And he flipped his wiggers over me right. on Blog Talk Radio. He did. Well, you know, all these, uh, you know, these, these blacks, they love the blondes for some reason. I don't know why. 
You know something? You're a subtle but a good troll. <laughs> I have my finger on the hang-up button. <laughs> no, no, no. Please, please. I just want to... The Jew has also chimed in again. One last line. I don't give a fuck what he says. He's an idiot. He's He's... He says he's a troll and a liar. He's a liar. Ask her to swear to God that I called directly into her show. Did I say you called directly? I picked up the phone. I go, hello. And there was Jewish producer, Mr. Midnight Movie, some guy from Mexico that knows the Jew and the Jew. So what would you think? If if we all called into your show together, would you, in, 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 you know, just give the slightest notion that he was on the call that called in right 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 y'all are mincing words here this is kind mm. of don't you think this is kind of junior high no she did say that you kissed him no, I, I said he kissed me. i think no, you said he kissed you the, the power of words you have Ridiculous. to understand the power of words and i think that you really need to rephrase the uh I, the you title need to rephrase everything and stop calling me the rephrase oh. <laughs> all she has to do is to rephrase the title and then we'll be okay it should just be 3M, J, 3, no, JP calls with 3M and JP. No, 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 Three JP calls with O, with, you know what I mean. I'm getting confused with all of this. JP calls with 3M and OJ into Debbie's show. And I think that would be enough. But she's, you know, she's, and then uh, the Jew is saying, I wasn't controlling that particular call. Jewish producer was petroleum again. Patrol. Oh, okay. Petroleum again. Ask her to swear to God that all her previous statements are correct. Okay. But for the record, Debbie in this conversation has said that it was not that the Jew called in directly, but that it was that the Jew called in through a third party, being Mr. Well, being Jewish producer. Right. So Jewish producer called in with the three with three M and a uh, one angry Jew. So, uh, you know, this is all I'm saying. All right, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe she'll pick up now. Give her a little rest. I'm getting confused. I need more coffee. That's what I need. If she's gonna pick maybe, up. Maybe, uh, maybe she'll pick up now. <laughs> Hello? Hello? This is, this is bordering on obsession, news guy. <laughs> I'm not obsessed with anything. I want you to I fit. I, I, will, I will leave the whole one angry Jew thing alone. Because I do think that you are correct in what you have, you have been perfectly clear in what you have said, that the Jew did not call in on his own, that the Jew called in through a third party, um, but he did speak to you on the show. Now, I still have to listen to the show to listen to, make sure that's correct or anything like that. Let me ask you something really, really silly. Yes. Why does this matter? Well, all right. Well, let's move on to Guy Shea then. Okay. Now, what is going on? Guy Shea is demanding utter allegiance. Ugh. Guy, Guy, when you're when you become friends with Guy, he is very demanding that you you become a minion of his. Okay, mm -hmm. and I went along with it for a while, and I thought, okay, great. And then anybody that was on my show, anybody that was on my show, he would start just, just freaking out in my chat room you know get this person off get this person off you kids debbie get rid of seeker debbie da, da, da. debbie this debbie this debbie you know screw that i mean i'm not going to do i'm not going to be owned by anybody you know i'm just going to do what i feel like doing and i like joe a lot i think joe's very very i like somebody that makes me laugh mm. oh you look at that stupid sock account in the chat room that was this there was this girl on on blog talk radio called your girl callie okay she yeah. was a troublemaker she doesn't even know me Ah, it's an, <clears throat> another woman who okay, has... Okay, then it's time for face. Since you're going to betray me, I'm going to betray what? you. Hello, what? Guy Shea, we're going to read what? your Facebook chats, what? Guy Shea. How what about happened? that, everybody? Snuggle up, everybody. Here what? we go. Hello? What's going on? I'm Nothing's going on. Are you, are you were playing a video or something, an audio? I don't no, know. No, I said we're going to read Guy Shea's chats. Oh, okay, because all of a sudden the, the, the sound quality of your call changed, and it sounded like you were playing a clip or something like this. No, I'm not playing a clip. Okay. And hey, Debbie, I appreciate the request and work that you do on radio. I think it's very, very entertaining in real life. Right now, I'm not responding to any friend requests. If you still want to be on the list after the holidays, I will be happy to add you. Right now, I'm keeping the show stuff and my real world separate. Thank you. Respectfully, guys, Shay, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Debbie, I just went to Skype and saw a request, just making sure it was you. And I said, nope, not me. And uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Hey, Debbie, just a heads up. On my show today, I'm doing a parody call from you, taking a few pot shots to get the animals moving at Spreaker. Please don't take offense. Just pulling their chains. Thanks, Guy. See. Dear Debbie, I want to apologize for the outline remarks about your grandson. Way out of line on my part. Also, I will retract these comments on air. No matter what type of trolling any of us do, kids should be off limits. That's all I wanted to say. As Sunny has no doubt told you in real life, I have no hatred towards you whatsoever. Wow. Listen to this. So the whole thing is just like a very elaborate ruse, like a pro wrestling or something like this. Well, I don't believe this is this is what I believe, News Guy. And I've, I've had this a lot with my podcast and it's always come to fruition when somebody throws that much admiration at you. Admiration is harder to get out of somebody online than hate is. Hate is really easy to throw out there. You know, like, oh, fuck you, or fuck you, or you're this, or you're snoozy, or, you know, cunt, or whatever. When somebody breaks down enough to really sit there and tell you and go into detail about how they like you and how they're, you know, this, that's usually, in my opinion, the truth, okay? Mm. So I don't buy this bullshit. It's just a game that he's playing with everybody. But here's my situation. I'm done. I'm tired of it. You know, if he's going to start this shit again, I'm out. Leave me out. I will not talk about it. I will not think about it. And I will not even go any further with it because I'm tired of it and it's stupid. If he's going to go back to this stupid crap, then whatever. And it goes on and on and on. Right, right. I, I think that, uh, you know, for some reason, I don't know why, because I, I it, because when you were on my show and you were talking about Vic and everything that was going on, uh, he did a show immediately following that. I think it was the same night, and he was talking about how you were giving me a lap dance. and all. That's what I'm telling you. Anytime I talked with another guy, he goes fucking batshit crazy, whether it's mm. even Steve. Mm. Yeah, he does have these issues with Steve. It's anybody that's on my show. Hmm. He hated the Jew. He hated Mr. Midnight Movie. He made him say, Guy Shea pooped on my head. He hates JP. He hates you. He hates, um, um, uh, you know, Joe Seeker. Yeah. He, he but he doesn't weird. hate Lester for some reason. Well, it's... No, he doesn't. No, you're correct in saying that. But he always gets a little bit weird when Sonny calls into my show. And Sonny and I have a great rapport. Yeah. I mean, and, and what about a Wild Goose? He doesn't hate Wild Goose. He gets weird. Mm. He gets weird. He's, t he's told me to he's talk shit about him mm. behind his back. Oh. And he goes, well, it looks like news guy's changing his tune. Where, 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 where? Whoa, Peter's whoa, whoa, whoa. show really sucks now. I won't listen anymore. Wait he's acting like a bitch. One angry juice. This is, uh, this is Guy Shay. One angry juice seems to care less about self-respect, let alone respect from others. Oh, is he writing to you on Facebook with that? Uh-huh. See. Doing my show tonight at nine so we don't overlap. Oh. I said, okay. And then I said, what the fuck? No, I didn't answer that. I go, what the fuck? He goes, what? And he goes, oh, you'll see later tonight. I said, if you fuck with me, can I fuck back with you? And he goes, nope. I said, are we going to start this shit back up again? Because I'm not really up for it. After the Jew and Mr. Minot Newby and all that crap, I'm exhausted. No, listen later tonight and you'll understand. News guy is too easy. I said, what? you're feeding him my Skype chats? <laughs> he goes, well, he has a, a habit of needing help. He thinks I'm his friend, so... Well, I don't... After that whole thing with the goofy gate and all of this, I know that Guy Shea is not my friend. That guy, you cannot trust him. To, you, can't, you can't even pick him up. You can't throw him that far. Then I said, so that's the rules? I can show your private chats, too? If I wanted to target you, I would. Don't push it. I don't have any masters. That's all I've ever shared with anybody. And it was already shit you told him. If you don't want to play, that's fine with me. You know what? Whatever. I said, bring it on. Wow. You know, whatever. Fuck, you know, I'm just, I'm just done with it. I'm just like, fuck you. Wow. You know, I really am. I'm done with it. Wow. See? And that's the whole, I don't know. I mean, it's just so weird. That is really, maybe, you know what? I think this is just a troll, to be honest. And then he says, me. Joe will chimp out too. Just give him time. And I said, you know, he goes, the first time you don't respond to him, he's going to drive you nuts. And mm. I wondered why he said that. I thought it was, and he said, I'm going to smash news guy tonight. What? He said, you know, fuck you guy. You know, if you're going to sit there and talk shit about me, I'm going to hit you. If you're going to bring a knife to a gunfight, then you better, you know, be ready for what you're going to get. Yeah. You're going to fuck with me. Then I'm going to fuck back with you. That's okay. Right. Right. I'm not scared of guy Shay. I'm not scared of anybody. Fuck that. It's all bullshit and it's stupid. But if you can sit and say, call me a cunt on your show and say that I've got all this bullshit 
go right ahead. I'm not playing along this time, okay? I'm not doing it. Yeah. You're just doing it to get listeners and and and, and whatever. Yeah, and, and to, do, to wrap up the drama, rank it up, or, you know, ramp it up. That's what I'm trying to say. And and I think that the if guy... If he didn't have that, what would he do? Play Bubba the Love Sponge clips? <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. I'm not. I'm how many not more honest. Ned? Uh, how many more Ned phone pranks are we going to hear? <laughs> or you're listening to DJ Bad Guy? Or uh, oh, Desert Rose, the Queen is in the chat room. You know what? I've been told by three people that know him very well. The only reason that he does that is to is troll to get, you. Is to get to me. Right. Right. And right. I'm like, sweetie. I've been doing this with this bitch for a long time, yeah. and I know more than anybody does. And yeah. Well, I, listen, I'll just say right now, I really don't know why he's got a problem with me and he wrote those things to you in private, but I, I listen to his show, and I like his show, and I, you know, and I, I, after that whole Goofy Big Gate thing, I know where, he's, where I can stand with him, so at least that's, you know, a, a good thing, but I'll still listen to his show, you know, and all this kind of stuff, so I don't know. It just gets on my nerves. It's just a bunch of, he plays a bunch of, he, all he says is the N-word over and over again. N-word, 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 N-word. And he gets Jimmy Lethal all stirred up and he's playing this music that I know for a fact he doesn't listen to. It's all this crazy music because he's never played it before. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. And then he says, I copy his music. Well, let me tell you something, sweetie. I was playing um, a lot of those songs that you were playing even just last night, a long time before you were. So. Mm. Gache, I'm not afraid of you. I mean, I'm not as scared of you like everybody else is. Talk about me. Talk about me every night for the next two years. That'll make four years in a row. And you're going to slowly but surely slip into the same category that the others are in. Wow. See, that's just, wow, that's too much. So, all right. So, I, I don't know. this, guy, I, But he does not make a good point, I think, with uh, Shill Billy. I think it's What's just it's, that it's I'm not just in your a, chat room. What's the point? It's just, no, I'm not reading the chat room. I'm thinking about what you had said previously um, that he wrote to you. Um, I think it is, unfortunately, just a matter of time until Shill Billy something happens. You do something to him, and uh, poor Shill Billy is left out in the cold. What do you mean Shill Billy's left out in the cold? Because you do this where you bring people on, you butter them up, you make them feel comfortable, you sit them down, you make them a drink. Now, here's the deal. I demand... Then you pull the leg out from the, underneath the chair and you kick them Are in the you head. Are you going to let me talk or are you going to sit there and put on a little show for your audience? I, wait, excuse me. I'm explaining the, my, the rest of my allegory here. I'm listening. I, so I finished my allegory, but you oh. weren't listening. That's the whole thing. I forgot what we were talking about. You were. I was saying that uh, yes, it was only a matter of time until you uh, do the something to Shill Billy that leaves him out in the cold. Okay. Well, you know, I could say the same thing for every one of you people on Spreaker. Mm -hmm. Every one of your people. Every one of y'all. You have people come into your life on Spreaker, then you have them go right out of your life on Spreaker. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't understand why when people come into my show, they get attacked. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that if you come to me, you're going to get targeted by somebody, either Goofy Bone or Bathtub Girl or uh, one of them. You're going to get banned by Desert Rose, just like she's banned Joe Seeker now for talking to me. And Joe Seeker made a great, great point on his show today. Okay. An unbelievable great point. You actually He's listen to his show? Why would you say something like that? <laughs> And see, the thing about it is, is that if you, if you show indifference to somebody, like, for example, me with, um, I don't know, just somebody, mm -hmm. maybe Tyree Sneed, I don't yeah. give a crap about that guy. So I don't, I don't rage about him like y'all do. If you, if you obsess over somebody, that's very indicative of the fact that they're on your mind. Mm -hmm. And Shill Billy's on your mind for some reason, and it only happened when he started calling me. No, it was only happened after uh, after that whole thing happened w between he and I uh, that weekend, and then all of a sudden, that's when you swooped in, and you, that is what you always do, Deborah Daly. You always what? sweep in when somebody what? Okay, gets stop. butt what are hurt. You talking about because I know I can prove you wrong. When you somebody gets butt hurt, then you sweep in 
and you take them up and you, you feed them the, the, the little uh, grains of salt and, and, and make them feel Just better. Scott, you have really got some serious issues. You I did mean, that I'm, with Angela 2.0 when she got uh, the, 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 the... Angela 2.0 and I are best friends, when so she we're got, being out at the top. Yeah, when she got kicked out by, uh, by Rick on Weekend Edition, that they whole thing happened. They came to me. Should I play the show and prove your stupid ass wrong? And you just swooped right in and, and picked them all up and took them all right, out. Oh. Whatever. You're just lying. You're lying. Here's the deal. Yes. You cannot fight a liar. And the reason why is they can pull any rabbit trick they want on you. Uh, any any rabbit trick. I'm a liar now? Is that what you're saying? You're a bald faced liar. I am not a liar. I'm telling the truth. I know your voice news guy. I've been listening to you for a long time and I know when you get them all shrilly. Oh, yes, shrilly. You get real weird with your voice. Uh -huh. And I know that. I'm very calm with my voice because I can back up everything I'm saying and you're lying. You're saying that I ran to Joe Seeger and I... You swooped you know, him up after I kicked him in the butt. So, what do you mean? Talking to somebody on my podcast means swooping them up? And you made a... Oh, you're so brilliant and you're so... Oh, you have such a great oh. voice and all this... Oh my God! And then, and then it's just a matter of time until the axe falls on this poor guy. Yeah, that's right. Because you know me, the old witch in the woods of hatred. You better all watch out and don't be my friend, because I will shut you down and kill you. The revolving. No shit. I'm, the, I'm tired of listening to this either. Shut up, you fucking what? you girl, Kelly. Oh. Who's Heather? Okay. Who, who's Heather? Who's what? Heather? What? What do you mean? Heather's going, makeup. Heather's makeup was removed. You know, it's probably a, 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 a sock account of that old man DJ bad guy. You know, something I just want a little message to DJ bad guy. Okay. Sit on it and twirl. Oh. You know, it took me a long time to figure out what they were saying on Happy Days when they meant sit on it. I always thought, I don't know why. I just thought sit on it was just something, you know. <laughs> I, and then I just, and then it was a long time later on I figured it out, and I was like, "Whoa, they actually said that on television." So. Reds, who was owned by Joe? I mean, who was owned by Joe? News guy. But here we go again. You never kicked Joe's butt. You were owned by Joe. Sorry, that's what Reds is saying. I'm going to have to ban Reds from the chat room for blasphemy. Why? Uh, See, that's not fair. <laughs> now look at what your girl Callie is saying. Look what the other ones are saying. And you're going to pick out Reds because it pisses you off. Don't be a girl. It's my show, so I Don't can do be a I, little girl. I'm be not, a man. I'm not Don't, being a little. Just, stop it. I'm look not, at me. <clears throat> I'm, on me. How can I look at you? I can't see you. Go to your happy place. Oh, my happy Don't place. Don't ban Reds. Reds is adorable. Reds is like some... How could I ban Reds with that icon? You say on your... The news guy show is free speech. So every, just let them say something. Every time I want to ban Reds, I look at that little icon with the happy face and I can't ban him. I know. It's so cute. Oh, and then he has the Z, like it's Reds with the Z. And I just... I don't want... I can't ban him then. <laughs> But why did well, you? Can I ask you? I don't understand. Can you explain something to me? Um, because uh, Red just called me a sissy, so it made me think of the word sissy. Um, your father used to call you sissy. That was his nickname for you. Yeah. Um, how did that come about? What was that whole thing? It's just something that they do in Texas. Oh. You know, like have you ever seen um, Do and Sissy on Urban Cowboy? No. You've ever you never seen Urban Cowboy? No. Stand by me, won't you stand? No, really? Well, then I can't really help you there. It's just, it's sort of a nickname that you give. Uh, if you have a daughter that has, you know, like two brothers, you call her Sissy. Uh, okay. And, yeah. Uh, so. Urban Cowboy was a John Travolta movie. Exactly. It yeah. changed the entire world is what I was, I was, from what I understand, everybody in the entire, entire world started buying boots and cowboy dancing after that. Oh, okay. Uh, DJ Bad Guy, it's L O A N. Use your dictionary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that loan, Debbie Money. You know, I would actually um, be more of a fan of Ty Reed and talk about him and promote him on my show more and bring him up in the drama, but he blocked me a long time ago. So I was like, you know, forget him then. Who needs He him? blocks everybody. Yeah, exactly. He blocks everybody. So Hi, what? Mr. White and. Bjorn, how do you say Bjorn's name in your in, with your voice? Bjorn Eriksson. Oh, my heart just skipped a beat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't lie. It's just something about that voice. I hate that fucking voice. I'm sorry. I want to hate you so bad, and I cannot. I cannot. Cannot bring myself to hate you. I don't See, know what it is. I'm sorry. Well, I guess that's what, like me with Reds and his icon. 
I want I want to hate reds, but his icon is so cute I can't hate him. It's like infotaint. Uh, infotaint. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the infotaint? That's right. Who I don't know. I'm not sure. I think infotaint. it might be BWC. Uh, infotaint. I don't remember infotaint. But the I one that has the little smile that's got the, it has the little crooked smile and its face is sideways and it's like a little child drew it. God, that's the cutest thing. Mm, I don't remember it so much, but I remember infotainment. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyway, anyway. Mr. So, White loves Infotaint, too. Well, Infotaint. But I just, you know, the Reds is a good guy. I don't know. But, but uh, you know, thank you very much Reds for my Reds came voice. to my movie. Uh, my movie's showing on Christmas Day Day. Christmas oh. Day after day. You showed a movie on Christmas Day? On the day after Christmas. And it was me, Stabby. It mm -hmm. was Joe. It was uh, Mr. White. You it didn't, was Reds. You didn't invite me. Well, you're always asleep. But you could have invited me anyway. Maybe I was awake. You never know. Apocalypse was there. Mm. there that's six. So there were seven of us, and we watched an entire movie of um, American Hustle. It's a great movie. See, and you know, with the time difference, I might have been awake. You never know. Well, it was really good because my mm. my computer no, really, you know, does that well. As everybody was saying, the sound quality was good, and the picture was perfect. So mm. I felt like I could handle I'm, it. It was fun. I'm hurt now. I'm hurt. There hey, was a lot of conversation going on in that movie. It was funny. And, and we talked for an hour and a half afterwards. That's cool. That's very cool. Can I ask you something? Sure. Because, uh, you know, even though it is my show, I don't want to, you know, uh, hurt your feelings or anything like that. But uh, there Why is... would you ask me a question to hurt my feelings? Well, it's not really so. Well, it's a question, but it's more of like, uh, you know, I, all right. I'll just say it. All right. Goofy Bum wants to come on and talk to you for some reason. Sure. Bring him on. All right. Okay. See, because... Even though I, I probably could do it anyway if I wanted to, I wanted to do it first, get your permission, because I don't want to sandbag you. You know, that's the whole thing. Yeah. Hello, Goofy Bone. You are on the News Guy show. What's up, News Guy? Hello. Uh, yeah. Goofy Bone. Hello. Yes. 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 Am I here? You are here on the News Guy show, and you're on with Debbie Daly. Hi, Goofy. Hey. So what do you want to say? I mean, you've been waiting, you've been batting me over the no, Skype I mean, you know, for was, like 20, 30 minutes now. Then, you want to, let me call in, now. let me call in. Now you don't, you, I put you on, you don't say anything. Come on, what's going on? Can I ask Goofy something? Yes. Sure, go ahead. Why do you tell everybody that the reason you hate me is because I had you quote unquote 404 when, I'm not through, this is a long question a little bit, <laughs> when in fact you hated me long before that time? And in fact, that was what got you 404 by Block Talk Radio. I'll wait. Go so ahead. You're, so you're telling me, Block Talk Radio, out of all the people that were there, they're just going to watch you and see who, who mentions your name, and they're just going to chop them off their network, all because of you. No, you didn't answer my question. Yeah, I didn't understand that anyway. And vol volume-wise, Goofy Bone, you're pretty low. I mean, maybe you can boost Why yourself. Why did you there. tell people that the reason can you, can you, can you uh, hang up and call me right back? Uh, all right, I'll call you right back. Sorry about this. Now, hold on. I'll call him. All right, I'll call him right back. Maybe I'll have to uh, remove. Hey, how do I sound now? All right, you sound a little bit better. Okay, Debbie. Let me turn him up on my board. All right, all right so, you know, Debbie... As you once told people, you put me on hold, remember? And that's the reason why I hated you, remember? Goofy, we're going to get to the truth here. Come on, well, let's, let's no, get to the no, truth. No, no, your voice cracked. That's what you said a long Goofy, time ago, remember? Goofy, you're smiling. <laughs> Goofy, of course I'm smiling. Goofy, of course I'm smiling. Because you're telling people the, the reason I hate me this bit. I d every, Stabby McHugs even remembers that. You went over to, and it's still on his archives, you went over to uh, Vince in the Bay show. He answered. He goes, Goofy Bone, you're on the air. And he goes, God damn it. And he goes, what's wrong? He goes, that fucking bitch, Debbie, put me on. She treated me like Steve Ogle. And <laughs> you don't remember that? I, I guarantee you I could find the audio. No, I guarantee you I could find it, Goofy. And so find that audio. Goes, I would love to hear that. No, I, I, I do. No, there was a, point, there was a time when uh, that happened, but... That wasn't the reason why, Debbie. Um, then, but that, that's what you like to say. But no, the, the real reason... The deal is, you hated me a long time before you were 404 Of course. 
So why do you tell people the reason you hate me is because you were 404? Does this make any sense? That's the, now that's the main reason why I hate you. Now, you know, okay, first of we all, were I, colleagues. I didn't have you 404. Can you let me speak? No, because I, you speak all the time. I told Shannon, Shannon, I can show you the email. You want me to go, do a screen share and show you the email no, from Shannon? No, phoniness. Okay, then you just can't believe everything I say. I said, tell Goofy Bone to lay off and maybe one night a week not spend his entire show bashing me. I said, and she wrote back. She goes, no problem. Then I wrote her back. I said, Shannon, I want to make damn clear, do not have him 404 off this network. Mm -hmm. I said, she wrote me back. And she said, we've listened to his shows. We've listened to his shows and you're right. He's going overboard. So they wrote you a letter and they told you that you had to apologize to me before Monday, the 16th of September. You remember that? They told me to apologize. Goofy, I've got the archive. Listen to how stupid you Goofy. sound. Goofy. <laughs> they, out of everybody, they told me to fucking stop everything I'm doing and, and apologize to another host or they were going to can me. Do you hear the stupid patheticness that you are providing the show? He's hurting my ears, and he's good. I'm sorry about that, Debbie. I'm going to turn it down. Okay, then. You guys can chit and hug. I'm going to smoke weed and laugh. You better run away. Uh, okay, but so so I'm I'm understanding this correctly, and it does audio sound. I have a goofy on his show going, I will apologize if she calls my show. Yeah. I'm not calling her show. Mm -hmm. He but said that all, over and over and over again. All I know is, is my my experience, and it is a, a lengthy experience with uh, online uh, message boards and websites and all these other things. When somebody complains to a moderator, a moderator does not give the uh, accused uh, an ultimatum: apologize by such and such a date, put or you will get tossed. Put your money. Put, put your money down on it. I will put down uh, uh, ten cents. That's how much I will put down. Oh, okay. Then you know I'm not lying. No. What, you, I, I, what kind of proof? How can you prove it? So I I'll, have audio of Goofy Bone going, they told me to apologize. I will apologize only if she calls into my show. All right. Okay. You know what? That uh, What was it? $10 that you owe me for, because uh, uh, what's his name didn't show up on your show? I'll put right. that money up on this whole thing. You don't believe Goofy said that? I don't believe that Goofy said that. And what are you going to do if I prove you wrong? Well, then you will no longer owe me $10 because uh, what's-his-face didn't show up on your show, Phil Hendry. All right, but I so. told you what he said. Well, you, but it doesn't matter because he was supposed to show up on that date, and he didn't. Right. Well, and I said I owe you 10 bucks. Yeah, just... so now now if, if you can provide this audio, this proof that Goofy Bone was uh, given this why ultimatum. Do think, why do you think Goofy Bone hung up? Did Goofy Bone hang up? I'm not even looking at the Skype. I'm looking at you. I'm, I'm, I'm... I wasn't looking at the Skype either. It sounds oh, like yeah. he did because he's not raging and my ears are, are doing better now. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he it did. was a big deal. He talked about it on his show many, many nights. He said, I'm not going to. I'll apologize, but that bitch has to call my show. Hmm. And I couldn't do it. Well, and all I'm saying is, is that you please provide this proof that you have. And I, you know what? I think it would be better than just Goofy Bone saying this on the air. It would be actually um, some sort of. Um, official correspondence from this uh, person at Blog Talk Radio who gave this ultimatum. No, not a problem. No, okay. <laughs> you can even call and ask Blog Talk Radio for that matter. Uh, why hell am I going to contact over there at Blog Talk Radio about something that because happened like five years ago? it is important to me that I set a standard <laughs> after these people, Desert Rose, Goofy Bone, and Icon and those, that little, the get-along gang, yes. came on here and said that I was a liar and I was all this stuff. And so it's important to me that people know around here and other places that I'm not lying. Well, listen, if you're saying that you're not lying and then you have some sort of official correspondence from Blog Talk Radio, I guess, with the letterhead or, or maybe like, what is that, the um, the whole thing with the, the official email with the, the... How about this? What if I get them on my show? Even Shannon will come on my show and talk about it. I mean, there's no, other, no other way I can talk. There's no other way I can prove it because obviously everybody doesn't believe me. Well, who do we know who this Shannon is? You could get some. You could get a net to call. Oh, Nobody's God, heard a net's voice forget before. Forget it. How about this? I don't give a fuck what you people believe. <laughs> I was there, and if Stabby was honest, he would remember it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just involve Stabby. Exactly. Where the hell did Stabby come in on this? No, it's it's true. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. 
Uh, okay, how about this? Yes. I swear on the lives of my children. Oh, that I'm, that I'm, oh I boy. swear on their life, on their life. Okay, now this is going to be another one where you're going to be like Abraham over there. Okay, now when have I ever done that and said, and, and I was called out a liar? All right.